Greetings from Istanbul. I am on my way to Istiklal Street, which is the famous uh, street in Istanbul, renowned for shopping and eating out. But as I was walking up, I noticed a lot of uh, apartments, I guess they are, uh, located here. It's got a very sort of, I'd say, French look to them. So uh, I'm assuming that these are quite old. You can see, in fact, they're not even these ones are not even just it's not even lived in it's derelict you could see graffiti on them inside is been stripped out by the looks of it yeah it has no windows in some of them broken glass it's covered by uh, cloth like a tarpaulin type of cover just trying to find a uh, uh, Istiklal. So I've reached uh, Istiklal Kadesi, or otherwise known as Istiklal Street. Some people do call it Istiklal Avenue. Potatoes here. Yeah, jacket potatoes, baked potatoes is a big thing in uh, Istanbul. I've seen um, nearly uh, bumped into me there, the child that ran out onto the tram line. And uh, it's very dangerous actually because even I haven't seen a tram coming over here. You've got to be wary. You've got to be wary. But there's a lot of food places here that I've seen. Uh, ice cream, baklava, dona. Got an Iranian food restaurant here. You can smell that, actually. This is the one thing about um, a lot of these streets. There's a lot of smell coming from a lot of the restaurants and it makes you hungry, even when you're not hungry. There's a tip here for you, there's a Turkcell store here actually. From what I've been told, um, Turkcell has the best coverage in Turkey. Uh, although I'm guessing in Istanbul, if you're just here, any of the Sims will do. But uh, in uh, Turkey itself, they've known to have the best uh, coverage. Let's have a look, what have they got here? Hamburger, koftes, so many items. It reminds me a bit of a, a sandwich that I had near Grand Bazaar, actually. Ice cream place a bit further on. I wonder if they do the ice cream scam. That's the one thing I'm always on the lookout for now. After my scams video. There's a, actually, I might go in, actually. There's a church here, St. Anthony's Church. But here they are, the ice cream guys. Look at that moustache. I like that moustache. It's a very famous, very big moustache. Do you want? St. Anthony's uh, church here as well. Actually, let's go inside. This is quite um, famous in Istanbul. So, uh, yeah, if you're down, um, a lot of people imagine that because uh, Turkey is an Islamic country um, you'll only find mosques now but there's churches here there's quite a few there's quite a few in Istanbul and just going into uh, St Anthony's it's a phenomenal structure again last time I was in a church was uh, St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York it's actually quite good that they allow you to film The glass is not as elaborate as some of the uh, churches and cathedrals that I've seen uh, but it's impressive nonetheless and uh, the actual design as well yeah it is a it is an impressive impressive church
Oh. Yeah, so that's uh, I'm just walking along. I had read about uh, St. Anthony's Church and uh, it's just by chance that I was uh, walking alongside so I thought I'd visit and uh, I was trying to speak quite um, quietly inside but actually it's quite uh, it's quite a nice church to be honest uh, it's well maintained it's uh, it's got an impressive structure the, the uh, internal dimensions actually quite they're quite nice because it's not as big as some of the churches that I've seen churches and cathedrals that I've seen but um, nonetheless it's uh, it's well maintained well looked after that's the one thing that I found found out about you know when visiting particularly the mosques here as well uh, it's uh, they all maintain a lot of work going on and uh, it's nice to see. Got an Esma chef over here. I went to an Esma chef and quite close to my hotel. And uh, they'll have the same food, I guess. But I don't want to eat there. I've already eaten there. So let's have a look at what else we've got. I could do with something, but I'm not sure what. I might get something. Uh, something light got a few more restaurants up this way baklava over here just walking by I've noticed some uh, koftas here these ones and I'm thinking of getting one because it'll just keep me um, keep me going yeah just one of these please Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. So I'm just gonna try, try some of this. It's a um, beef kofte. They're quite famous around here, and uh, it looks uh, pretty much like a um, say some uh, filling with uh, batter around it and uh, bread crumbs or a crumb type of uh, outer coating. So let's have a look what this uh, kofte is like. Mm. So I've actually got meat in there, it's like a peppers, onions, it's quite a good filling to be honest. And just as I was walking by, I see a donut place and that's making me even more hungry but I'm gonna have this kofte and uh, let's have a look where I am I've actually got a lot of exploring on this street to do but this is actually quite nice hmm It's actually not that spicy and uh, but there's a lot of flavour in here because in fact yeah the thing about spices is and this is particularly with Indian food in particular is that um, spices cover up a lot of the flavour and even though spices can be good often you get a lot of places that um, Got a lot of spice in their food, but the food doesn't taste that nice. So be careful with your spices. Spices are good, but if it's going to mask what the flavour is, or if they're going to try and fudge what they're making, uh, all you're tasting are spices. But this is actually this is actually very nice. You can taste the peppers in here. You can taste the onions. I think there's coriander in here as well. I can, I can sense that and it's a good little snack to have it's okay. every time I see an ice cream cone now I get suspicious but uh, let me finish this uh, cough day off and we'll carry on exploring navigating our way through Istiklal Kadesi it's getting towards that time where I need some food as well and uh, 
There's actually loads of places around here. There's one here, potatoes. Potatoes. It's got jacket potatoes. Ah, Donna as well, my favourite. It looks like beef donna there, chicken donna there. Actually, I think I'll go in here. They've got a pretty extensive menu. Uh, jacket potatoes and uh, donners as well. So let's see what they've got in here. Let me have a bit of an explore and see what they have. I've just stopped inside a donner place and I've ordered myself a like a donner in it's not a pita I would say it's more like a soft roll with uh, it's got chicken in there tomatoes chips marinated chicken as well so no sauces that's the one thing about um, turkey that you'll find different from um, the UK in particular which is what I'll compare it against because I'm not exactly a kebab aficionado in uh, other countries is that they don't really put sauces in these and to be honest they don't need them the meat is flavored so much that you don't need to put sauces in there so it's you know it's credit to their cooking actually their cuisine that they're not um, having to mask the flavor because um, it's phenomenal food that they're producing here and even the most basic of places that I've been to here uh, their donors are fantastic so um, I'm gonna tuck into this uh, this donor this chicken donor and it only cost uh, 25 lira as well so that's only just over a pound so a pound for this I mean you'd never get that in the UK uh, so I'm gonna tuck into this because um, it just needs tucking into before it gets cold. This is why they don't need sauces in their food. It's packed full of flavour. Because um, it's got tomatoes in there and chips and his other flavourings, the marinated chicken, it doesn't need it. This is why their kebabs are saying, I would say, these are the best. Um, that I've tasted anyway uh, because they have they're packed full of flavor you don't need sauces in these and uh, I'm gonna cane this I'm gonna finish this off because I don't think I'm done actually once I finish this I've seen a few things on the menu they've got potatoes over there as well so I'm gonna check one of those out so I think I've gone a bit heavy on the uh, meats ever since I've been here so um, I, I still had room for more and I thought why not get a um, jacket potato uh, but it's got no meats in it this time. I went for coleslaw, cheese uh, and um, couscous as well and um, topped it up with a few sauces to try and see um, see what it's like. But um, jack and potato is sold all over Istanbul actually and it's trying some of this. And uh, it looks pretty good as well. It looks gooey, it looks like a mess and um, I'm sure it's going to taste nice. This is one of the best jacket potatoes I think just by looking at it. I mean, do you get jacket potatoes like this? Um, it's not your typical jacket potato with beans that we get back in England. It's got a lot of ingredients in it, olives, olives as well. It's a bit into one of those and it's full of flavour. So I think if you're down in Estiklal Kadesi and you're struggling for something to eat and if you've overdone the meat, if you've overdone the donners and the iskandas and um, the grilled meats, go for a jacket potato. I don't think you can go wrong, so I'm going to finish this off and head back out into Istiklal and see what else they've got to offer. I think that uh, jacket potato was a bit much, you know. I feel shattered. I feel like going to sleep somewhere in a corner. And it's hot as well. I've got the shade over here. But I think I overdid it. I think that chicken kebab was alright and then uh, the jacket potato, I didn't really need that, but I got a bit greedy inside there so I'm gonna snooze for a while find myself a nice corner somewhere go to sleep for a few hours and I'm uh, in the Istiklal Kadesi and it's been an enjoyable time here venturing through this famous street and I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna find myself a corner so until the next time it's goodbye